welcome back to another video. It is now about 10 to 6, a little bit later than I usually head to the yard, but I had to take the other half and the eldest son to work today. So yeah, we're just gonna head to the yard now and start sorting these ponies out. So I've just got to the yard. It is minutes before six o'clock. So the first job of the day is to feed the boys. Morning boys. Morning gorgeous, you okay? <laughs> My baby boy, aren't you? Hey, what else is donut and champ? Gambler very rarely has his head over of a morning. He's um, not too sociable. He's not a morning horse where all these others are. Oh, there he is. So, you know, first things first, we get their breakfasts out for them. It's dark in there. But yeah, I have changed what they're eating now onto their winter feed. So I might go through that. Oh, I nearly dropped it all. Go through that another day on what we're on now. There's a stick in there. But yeah, I'm gonna get these breakfasts ready and then we'll feed them.
restaurant, the hainets are done and hung up and they're happily munching away. Now they've finished their breakfast. It is time to start turning them out. So let's uh, grab a head colour and some boots. Willow and Champ always have over each boot. Didn't mean to drop that one. And to try and protect their shoes. So yeah, let us get these boots on these and get these out. So it's just gone half six and all ponies are out except this one um he has got a few bigger shows coming up the next few weekends we've just done equifest next week he's going to brighton then he's got sunshine tours and all that so because them two play like idiots that they're going now Um, yeah, I don't want him to be stuck in the crossfire. So he's going out in that other field, but it has been rested for a few weeks. There's slightly more grass out there and he is on the porky side anyway. So um, don't want to run the risk of getting laminitis with him. So he stays in for a little bit longer whilst I do some little odd jobs and then he go out for a, a leg stretch in about half hour or so.
yeah so i've changed what they're eating um ready for winter because the weather's just gone so cold so gambler's feeds are the only ones that are actually finished now i will put champ donut and willow's mix in later that's currently soaking ready for later but yeah that's uh, as much as i can do with feeds now so once feeds are made and water's done it's time to grab bambi you ready to go out baby come on then hey baby boy now everyone is out it is time to start mucking out some of these beds so let's get on with this around and do exactly the same to all four beds and leave them up to air for a bit. last stable to muck out is uh, Gambler's and his bed is deceiving. He looks clean but he is the worst one out of all four of mine to muck out. Uh, don't get me wrong, he's not horrible to muck out but Willow will always poo right at the back so his is easy. Donut poos in the left hand corner, his easy. Champ again poos in the middle at the back, easy. Gambler you have to find it. You think that he'd make it easy, three piles of poos. But no, this horse, seriously, I don't know how he does it. He picks up, he must pick up a pile of straw, poo, and then put the straw back on top so it looks all neat and tidy. But yeah, I actually have to hunt for his poos. But yeah, let's get this one done. All beds are up and drying now, so. It is time to leaf blow this yard.
So I wouldn't usually leaf blow the yard until after I've put beds down and any fresh straw, but it's uh, 20 to nine. So it's still too early for the, the horses to come in. So um, I like to do some odd jobs on the yard. And if you've seen previous video, I have been painting the stables. So now we're on to this end. I'm a bit behind in where I wanted to be with it, but the daughter-in-law had the baby at the weekend. So we were a bit preoccupied. So yeah, so I'm gonna get on with painting this. I didn't want the wet paint and then blow the yard and it all gets stuck to the paint. So I'll deal with any um, stray straw on the yard this evening when I knock out the horses. But yeah, I'm going to crack on with painting some of this. So it's a couple of hours later now. I've gone around and I've uh, also put down the beds. But yeah, I've run out of paint, annoyingly, because I really wanted to get this bit finished today. Um, because that end of the stables has all been painted. Uh, I've got to do that bit there, the top, the bottom, although I think that bit's being replaced. Uh, that top bar and then this end. I've still got left to do. I thought I had another tub of paint, but I can't find it. So unless Steve's moved it, I don't know where it's gone. Um, but yeah, I want to get, I wanted to get the whole outside painted today so we could get on into the inside of the stables from tomorrow because they're absolutely disgusting. But what will be, I'll just have to do them the next day. Finish this tomorrow, do them the next day. So now, all I do is go round and bring in ponies and pick out their feet. And then I go home for lunch for an hour or two. And then I'll be back down this afternoon to ride them. So that is the end of my morning routine. So if you like what you see, then please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.